Hi everybody! Tonight I will show you how I did my mittens for men on my Central 48 needles. First I will cast on with, with yarn, one in the front, one in the back, for the first row. When you get to the uh, row, uh, <laughs> uh, the yarn feeder, just put your yarn in it and then you could crank for uh, at least five uh, rows of waist yarn. Why waste yarn? Because it's going to be easier at the end to remove it and to sew it together. Put the yarn project now, just the same place that you finish with your waist yarn, holding. Make sure it's grabbed by the needle and put your counter to zero. And there you go with the white. I will say the the number of wor uh, rows every time I change the color, so don't worry. So, for the red, you you will need not the red, the white. You re you will need five rows. And then cut a change, put that aside, hold it, make sure it's grabbed by the machine, and then you crank. So you got your red yarn. I always do a double knot. Put the tail in the middle, and then I crank. And for the red, I have used three rows of red. Cut the yarn, put that in the middle, switch to white again, and this time I will do seven rows. Do double knot. If it's too fast, don't worry, just go on ad any other of my video and you will understand how to cast on and change uh, the color, because I have a lot of video. So when you're done with your seven rows of white, you will come with your gray. That's a new color. Put your counter to zero. Attach both yarn together. And then you will crank it for 32 rows. I put it faster because <laughs> it's, it's going to be the same thing with 32 rows. Not 22, 32. I just woke up. <laughs> so you end up with another color change of white. And this time, I attach it like this. And this time, you will need to put your counter to zero and do six rows of white. And now it's going to be the cast off time. To do the cast off, because the finger of my uh, mitten would be white, so I decide to use a yarn needle. This one. Never st start on the one that all the tail, but the one next to it. I always put my finger there to prevent my stitch to jump and lose it. And this yarn was not very soft, so it was not working like it was supposed to be. So. I will continue like that. That's why it's get all together though, because it's not soft yarn. So I will continue each remove stitch by stitch. Almost there. Remove it from the machine, stretch, 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 and make sure uh, I was pulling on it, but there's a little knot over here, a, a, a couple of seconds to remove it, take my time. The knot was attached, so that's why I was not e able to pull on it. 
will be okay now. So I grab my little Centro 22 needle, cast on like I did with the big machine, put it in the yarn feeder, and then I crank. For this one, I have a little ball, so I didn't count because there's no counter on those. So I used the leftover waist yarn that I have at home. I put the knot inside, uh, very important. And then I crank till I, I ran out of a pink. We are now doing the thumbs of the mitten. So now I will put that in the middle, come back with the gray, because the thumbs would be great. And for the thumbs we will need 16 rows. The mitten is done for a size medium man. If you want it larger, just add some uh, maybe four four rows for the thumbs. The rest of the mittens will be fine. Just the thumbs would change. If you want to do a large or extra large. So I ran out of gray, almost <laughs> lost my work, but I grab it and attach it together and I will be able to finish this thumbs. I think like three or four rows missing. Now it's cast off. I use waist yarn, holding with my finger and crank it till I ran out of white. Almost there, so it, it's magic. It's gonna release by itself when it's done. I have any yarn coming through the yarn feeder, so time to stretch. So I already sewed one side, now I will sew the other side. It's a flat panel uh, sewing, not panel, but the tube. I use a hook number four. And I don't like that hook. The size was, o was okay, but the the hook it's no good. I don't like that hook. I was not able to find my other one, so I use that one. But I think I will donate that one to somebody because I don't like when the crochet the hook is too round. It's not easy to work with. At least not for me. Maybe somebody else will be more comfortable with it. It's supposed to be an ergonomic uh, hook, but it's not good for me. So I will probably donate it to somebody who will use it. Because me, I won't use it uh, anymore. First time, last time. <laughs> so almost there. Very careful to grab all the stitches. If you don't get all the stitches, I will show you how to fix it. And when you get to the end and you don't have the tail with you, you, you just use your needle like this and bring it to the end. So that way you could close your row just like this. Voila! A little tips. So now it's time to remove the waist yarn. This yarn, this pink yarn, I use it a lot for waist yarn because it divides and I don't like it. So I use it for waist yarn so if I have to cut it, I just don't care. I keep all the little pieces that I could save every time and do a balls and use it again. There, almost there. Finish. And check if you have a drop stitch. I have one. So I will bring the tail that I have one side. I will bring it to the other side to grab the t the the stitch that I, I have lost. It's gonna be easy. Don't worry. It's gonna be just okay. Go with the tip of your needle. Grab the stitch in the middle. I love those needles. They are so easy to use. And I don't get paid to say that, but don't worry. I just love them. So I fixed the draw stitch. It's with all other stitch now. So that's the thumbs part. So for the 
the mittens. Oh, I will finish with the thumbs. Okay, I will go and seams, seam, seamlessly. Oh, Monja, <laughs> attach those two together. <laughs> so, sounds better. So I go in the middle of the V and grab two bars, like two two rows with my yarn needle and I stay on the same columns so that way it don't twist my work and I continue one side and the other side so this part is almost done Pull on it, it's magic! Very nice, it's invisible. So I will close it there and close the other, the one. I will just use the tip of the my of my needle and grab all half of the stitch on the top. I not I'm not sure if it sounds right, but maybe you just use your eye <laughs> and figure it out there and just grab half of the stitch and sorry for the light it was four o'clock a.m. when I did this one so the light was not that good in the house but the video is still there and the information is still good so well, I, I'm not sure you'll be okay with that so if I close the thumbs And then grab the loop and voila, it's close. So it's ready. I used two finger in it, so it's gonna fit a man. Don't worry. I measure it on my man's and my son's hands. I the tail, just keep one to attach it on the rest of the mitten after. Pull on it. So now we're gonna just redo all the knot to make sure everything is secure i always do a double knot for each so it's the time when you will close those the two make sure that the when you do your color change the step that it's make on your work to put that in the middle so that way when you do the mitten you will hide it inside of the mittens i don't know if it sounds right but you you will understand i will show you later on so I use a different technique to close this one because it was very hard with this uh, hook. So I use this technique and well better. It did better. So make sure you grab one stitch on the side, one stitch on the other side and you pull. Grab one on the side and one on the other side always the top one if you use the other one you're gonna have a drop stitch you don't want that so you use the top one and you continue and I put all the tail inside so that way I don't have to hide a lot of tail at the end genius huh? <laughs> oh no it's, it's, it's only lazy because <laughs> I don't like to hide the tail it's Cons consuming so I continue almost there so for this side I will close it flat like this and the other part will be different so 14 minutes if you're still here watching this video can you help me by uh, just uh, comment on the comment section just I don't know <laughs> pom pom <laughs> just write pom pom the word pom pom I will know that you you get close to 15 minutes so that's good because I'm doing some a little bit survey lately on my video to see if it you see in the middle the red uh, I removed the waist here now 
remove the first rows and usually it's easy to remove right there you see the middle you have the uh, <laughs> the little step now. I did it in purpose to put that in the middle so when I close the the mitten it will be inside so it will look professional and easy to attach to see and this I will cut the long and the white one will be pulled at the end so it fit my hand my man's and I use a I use a paper I put easy hand on it and tracing tracing oh I don't know how to say that drawing around his hand and I figure it out the right sides for him so now I will sew it together the mattress 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 stitch oh my god hard time for me sometimes okay now it's very important you start on the column and you stick on it because you don't want to twist your your work make sure you put your color together because you want it to be looking like uh, even all the way there so you grab two on one side two on the other side and always on the same line you follow the same one all the way two and grab the other side too. I don't pull too tight on my yarn right now because I will pull at it uh, after I'm done the the white section. So I continue. Some part of the video go very fast but don't worry every time uh, I do fast it's it's because you already seen it or it's a long part so you could figure it out on another section of the video so it's time to pull on it and as you could see I use the gray color and you won't see it because it's very nice stitch and if you have problem like to know where to put the thumbs add four more rows on your white section so instead of doing the 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, put 11 and you start to put your your thumbs all right there. Because me, I had four more stitch. Nope. Four. I said four. One, two. One, two. So it said it's four in the gray. Pull on it. And I decide to put the thumbs there. So I have my thumbs already done. I will just secure it there by going there and get in the loop and that's it. And pull on the other side of the, the tail to make sure everything is secure. So one, two, three, four. And I will prepare the space for the thumbs thumbs already done I will spare six rows to install my thumbs one two three four five six I put it and go right through over the sixth one and I will uh, the light is very poor sorry for that I will go on the other side for six still and continue to sew my mitten. I will put it faster because anyways you already seen it in the white section and in the gray it's not that easy to see something so I will put it a little bit faster here to save some time. The original video was one hours 45 minutes i cut it to 25 so hope you enjoy it <laughs> i continue and voila
I got to the end of the the white section put all in the middle and pull on the string pull 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 and the gray is there don't worry about it push it with your finger the white and then I will attach the white section with a loop like this and I will make sure that there's no hole in the middle so I will grab some stitch around the hole and pull on it to close it better so I do a double knot again and hide it in between the two layers cut the yarn and come back with the tail of gray I will go back on my uh, my work because I did already a knot on it at the end of the row so I will just hide it here just in a loop and that's it just at the the end of the gray and cut time to attach the thumbs the fun part a lot of <laughs> of a uh, subscriber doesn't like that part but it's because it's come with practice I was not able to do it like two years ago either so don't worry you're learning with me we go slow and we do step by step and if there's any question just ask me in the comment I always answer the, the, the question What I, I'm not always answer is when you ask for numbers and all the numbers are on the screen. You have to listen the video to see the numbers. It's, uh, it's the third day I work on this video and uh, pattern. So uh, try to respect that. <laughs> if I give you all the numbers like one shot, it's no use for me to continue to do video. So I'm here to help people not to give numbers just like that so you have to listen the video there see you be better now so you grab a full stitch here and then you go on the other side I got two bars and you got a full stitch on the top and two bars and don't tighten it too tight because it won't fit you have to uh, go uh, leave a little space and if it need to be tighter at the end you will be able to do it there Grab this stitch and grab the one on the bottom. So I would try it in my hand to see how it feels. A lot of room for my thumbs. Time to close it. And I will go grab another one like this. And I did between the two layers. So the mitten is almost finished but not not finished yet. I still have a little thing to finish. Here at the beginning I forgot to do the knot. So you grab one side and the other side and do a little loop and that's it. Let's secure another one. So voila, it's done. I will go outside, make some picture with my son, and I will start 
working on it. <laughs> Actually, it's the third day I work on it. So I wish you a good week and see you next week with another video. Bye bye.